Hiya! Hello, interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Rainswept. My name is Skinny Mini. Last episode, uh, we were talking with Brad about Chris and Diane's relationship of how they knew each other, and we're getting even more of the backstory between Chris and Diane. So, um, Diane is very... Not necessarily leading him on, but she's just making it kind of difficult for the both of them, but I think she's being very cautious, and Chris is all artsy and thinking about the world and stuff, and it's really... It's really nice. Uh, and she finally invited him over for pizza. Um, so, and now we're just asking questions. Uh, so when are your exams? When do you have your exams? Exams? The ones you've been preparing for. So you can study abroad? Oh, right, that. Um, there's a few more months to go. I'm not sure if I really want to take them, though. Why not? I'm only taking those so I can get away from this place, but... I don't know. Maybe there's a better way? Oh, the book! Did you read that travel book that I gave you? I didn't really get the time to. I did flip through it, though. It looks really interesting. I'm just waiting for the right moment so I can enjoy it. You should read it. It's great. Uh, then you could really make out your plan and work out how to execute it. Yeah, I will. Uh, oh yeah, I'm moving. I'll be moving to Pineview soon. I've been looking around, and I found a couple of good places I can move into. The hotel I'm planning to start there? That should also work to work out. I've been... I'm, ugh, I met the planning committee and checked out a few possibility sites, too. That's great. Uh, when do you think you'll move? Next month, probably. I really admire you, you know. W what? You go out and do the things you want. You don't just let dreams remain dreams. I admire that. Th thanks. Where's the... P <laughs> Where's the pizza? Can't wait anymore. Oh. Okay. Wow. I don't normally get to just lounge about and eat pizza for hours. I can get used to this. Why don't you, though? Oh, you know, just stuff. Anyway, thank you. Uh, for coming, I mean. I'm glad you did. Oh. Oh! Oh my god, it's a kitty! <gasps> oh! Was it bad? Have I done something wrong? Diane? This is getting a bit close for me. Um, you shouldn't... I don't understand. The more you get to know people, the less you can stand them. You said that. Well, that was different. That was before I met you. You don't know me, Chris. When you do, you won't like who you'll find. What? I think I really... Well, what's wrong? Is there something wrong? Something I need to know? I think... I think you should leave. Diane, come on. Please, Chris. My parents are probably on their way home anyway. When will I see you? When will I next see you? I don't know. I'll call you. Okay. It makes me nervous. Something must have happened before her, or she's she's not the person she says she is. After that, Chris and Diane began to meet for a bit more frequently. At the same time, I started seeing him a lot less as well. When did you see him next? Um, Detective, I need to be somewhere else in a bit. Is it okay if we pick this up again tomorrow? Ah, of course. Uh, thank you for your time, Brad. Yeah. No problem. That was a lot, Brad. Thank you. You're the homie. Mm. That's it for today, it looks like. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Detective. Tell her about your issue! Ugh. Goodness. Okay, where's the hotel again? 
on Main Street. Uh, where am I? I wish it would show me where I am. Uh, oh, okay. If I just go this way, I could, um, I could head this way. This way. Central Street! Alright, game saved. Convenience! I love that jacket. I like that jacket. Baba shop. Probably should get a haircut. Oh, the guitar guy's not here. Oh, no, there he is. Hey, what's up, buddy? Wanna write another song? Hey, detective, I need your help again. There's a song I'm having trouble with. It goes, Caught in the safety net, meant to break my fall. Killed by cert certainty, now that I know it all. Mysteries of those cold, dark nights lost. Rising sun of reason. Rising sun of reason. Wait. Rising sun of reason tends to exhaust... Rising sun of reason melts the frost. Rising sun of reason comes at a cost. Rising sun of reason signals it's time for a coffee and time. Oh my god. What? Okay. No. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna go a little bit kind of like realistic because it's really, it's snowy right now. And all the ice and stuff is still here i think the sun's out a little bit and it's causing the some of the snow the uh the snow to melt so i think i'll do rising sun of reasons of reason melts the frost rising sun of reason melts the frost that that's beautiful it makes so much sense in so many ways thanks detective i'll use this one the way it is glad i could help so when do i get to hear these oh there's gotta be there's a lot to be done yet. A lot. Not for a month at least. Maybe even two. Oh, I may not be here that long. Then you'll just have to come back if you want to have a listen, eh? Sure. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I like that. I hope there's like an actual song like in the end. Hello. Thank you for letting me stay here. <laughs> Gonna go to sleep. Gonna go to sleep. Mm -mm. Sigh. Put on my pajamas. Oh, wait. Meh. Meh. Dude. You not gonna put your pajamas on? Okay, sure. Oh, we're making a phone call. <laughs> Hi, you reached Abigail and uh Michael. We're not home right now, so please leave your message. Your message name and I'll capture the beat by. Oh. Hey. It's all right, I'm here now. I'm happy you helped me back. Why don't you come with me? For good. We shouldn't just leave or give up. We shouldn't, but you know there's nothing there for you anymore, don't you? Think about it. I'll be waiting. Okay, well she's dead. Well, you slept in your freaking. <laughs> Sorry. I feel terrible. Alright, game set. Whoa. Let's see, what clothes are we gonna wear? Uh. Casual. Let's wear casual. Leave? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Gonna be in my street clothes. I'm gonna be so pimped out. That was weird. That little cursor there. 
So, Brad's back in Pinefeed. We should talk to him. He'll be heading back later today for his wedding preparations. How's the skateboard do? We also needed to talk to Jack about the picture we got from Johnny. He should be at his shop. Well, what do you want to start with, Detective? Um... Let's go to Jack, because I want to... We can always come back to Brad, but, uh... Let's talk to Jack. Let's see what Jack has to say about the picture first. Alright, we can head there to the repair shop. Shall we leave now? Uh, hold on, I changed my mind. Oh, shoot. I wanted to get the... Oh, yeah, there it is. I need more coffee. Uh... No, I think... I'm gonna talk to this guy. <laughs> you know, it's the most beautiful, magical feeling. Waking up before sunrise, working on something creative, and getting completely immersed in it for hours. Me, I can never manage to wake up early then. I did do it once. It was amazing. Imagine the scene. Oh, didn't we do this already? Uh, maybe because our ancestors lived that way? Makes sense, but I don't know. But there's something isn't there, but I'll talk more about it. Or maybe... It's the not the it's the not knowing the mystery makes it all special. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's go to let's go talk to uh, Jack. <coughs> all right. Well. Mm. Yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Talk to Jack. Uh, yes. <laughs> Alright, lead the way. We're going on a trip in our face. Sorry. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Okay, let's go to the thing. Oh, wait. I attacked the old man. Hey, was that? Who are you? Uh, I'm the detective investigating the- Oh, right, it's you. Why didn't you say so? Anyway, help me out here, Sonny. My lady across the street gives me no attention. What do you think I should do? Um... What? You're the only one- only one here with problems, eh? Help this old man out. Uh... I don't just ignore her <laughs> ignore her ignore her yeah you give her too much attention all day make her come to you seriously detective that may work when you're 20 kiddo but not when you're touching 100 you ain't got no time to be playing games ignoring each other I can hear you that's the point uh, gosh dang it I never could have let her over like this maybe you just leave her alone <laughs> hey hello detective Officer, how's it going? Not skating today? <sighs> well, you see, I don't know. Maybe you can help me with this. I don't really know how to skate. You see, that girl I was with yesterday, well, I really like her. And she really likes skaters. You're saying you don't know how to skate at all? Let me ask you something. You ever see me skating yet? Even once? I hate to admit it, but all I am is a poser. I can't even stand on my board without falling off. All I could do is try and talk like a skater. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Then don't. Wh what? Like you said, you don't know how much longer you can keep this up. She's gonna know anyway. Why not own up to it yourself? You... You got a point, do I, I mean, detective. You're right. Well, thanks. I'll see you around. Oh, okay. Well, I hope that helped him. Alright, officer, let's go to the auto store. Wait, where's the auto store again? Oh, it's to the left. Crap! Um, yeah, let's go to the left. I was thinking of that church part. Hee hee. Hee 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 hee. Ha ha ha. Oh. Doggies. My sweet babies. They miss me. Alright, yeah. Jack's auto repair. Oh. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Jack, we got a question. Game saved. Where is he? What's up, bro? How's, 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 how's it hanging? How's, what's up? Hey, dude. Back for the car already? It's not done yet. No, I'm here for something else. Uh, yeah, was this is... This is your car, right? Sure is, dude. What's it doing outside of Chris and Diane's house? I'd, uh, gone there to fix the car? Obviously. Look at the picture, Jack. Chris's car isn't in the driveway. I'm assuming he wasn't home, either. Oh. Right, this is probably another day. <laughs> this must have been when I had gone to get my payment for the work from them. Oh, yeah? Here's... Oh yeah, there's the date on the photo. That's when I got to meet them for money. Uh, sorry, detective. I, I got the dates mixed up. Another thing, Jack. You said you'd gone for a drive around the same time the shootings took place. Where were you before that? Tell me everything that you did on that day. Well, okay, uh, let's see. I woke up uh, early as usual and opened the shop for business. I think I was here till... 11 a.m. Then I went to, yes, market. Then I went to the Pineview Market. What for? Did you meet anyone there? Uh, no, really. Um, oh yeah, I bought myself some food at, from Mark's Cafe. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna show. We're not gonna show that we know something's up. So we're just gonna. All right. Continue. And after, and well after that, I worked again for a few minutes before taking a lunch break and a little nap. At around 5 p.m., I set out to meet Alan. He owed me some money from work I had done on his car last week. He wasn't at the pub, though. A boy named Lenny there said he was sick and hadn't come in. Yes, and? Well, so I went to his place instead. There wasn't there, he wasn't there either. Neither was his car. Wait, so you're saying Alan wasn't home on Sunday? That's what I said, detective. He wasn't there. I went again around 9 p.m. No luck. Hmm. I should go and meet him again now that he's back. Could really use that money. We'll be back if we need more information, Jack. Um, okay. Still suspicious. What do you think, officer? I'm not convinced. He's hiding something. Exactly. Let's keep an eye on him. Meanwhile, Alan's got some clarification to do. He lied to us about Sunday. Let's find out why. All right. Who? Oh my God. No. Okay. Well, we should probably talk to Brad. Um. Meet Brad. Meet Alan. Okay. So let's. Hmm. Who's closer? I think. Let me see. Where where is Brad? Well, we'll probably see him in a minute. He is next to the shop, right? Yes. Uh, is this Alan? This is an Alan. What does Alan look like again? Hold on. Oh wait, where's my? Is there... Hold on. I forgot what Alan looks like. What happened to the, the book? Okay, well. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> I want to ask you some questions. Um, oh wait, no. Back to previous questions. Where were you on the 6th? Where? Oh, that is Alan. Okay. Where were you really, Alan, on the 6th of October? Uh, I forgot what voice I gave him. Um, wait, I thought I told you about that already. I was at home. Oh no, he was like more like a, not a bum, but I told you already about that. I was home, sleeping mostly. I wasn't feeling well, so I didn't come to work. Press him for more details. Hold it! Sorry. Are you completely sure you were home all day, Alan? You don't want to skip on any details. Things could get difficult for you. Well, yeah, I did go out of town a bit before that. I had just gone over to Hank's and 
in the other town a couple hours away to buy some supplies. You weren't too sick to drive? You were too sick to work, but you were you were not but we're not no, but not too sick to drive? I feel better when I drive. Honestly, I I find it very relaxing. Why didn't you tell about this before? I really didn't think it was important. I was back the same night anyway. Let Officer Blunt handle it calmly because, ugh. We need to know your exact movements throughout the day. It's the only way we can count you out of suspicion. I didn't lie, Officer. I just didn't realize. What time would you say you got back to Pineview that night? Uh, I don't know exactly. Maybe eight, nine? The place where you brought these supplies. Would they be able to confirm this? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Come on, Blunt. Alan is still lying, obviously. I need you to do something ASAP, Blunt. Find a phone and call up Hanks. He's probably going to call Hank up too and ask him to cover for him. Confirm Al 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 Alan's alibi before he does that. Meet me at the station for Brad's interview after that. Got it. See you. Man, well, what the heck? Okay, well. Oh, I didn't see that text box. Uh, yes? I'm Lenny. I help Alan out at the pub sometimes. Ah, yes, Lenny, I've heard about you. You've been out of town the past couple days? Yeah, I just returned to Pineview today. I've been out, si I've been out since I wor last worked here on the 6th. I left that night. You know, that night the incident happened. Did you by any chance see Jack that day? You know, the guy who runs the local auto repair shop? Did you see him around Mark's Cafe? Maybe around 11 a.m.? Jack? Oh, I didn't see him. I was sitting outside at the time, taking a break. He'd gone up to the church, and then he went over to the cafe. The church? Anything else that you remember? Any details? I think he was carrying something. Some tools and a bucket of uh, paint, I think? Hmm. All right, thanks, Lenny. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk to about? Yeah, something that Chris told me once. Uh, maybe it'll help you with your inve uh, investigation. I don't know. Um, Chris was really, really drunk at the pub that night, and he shared something quite personal with me. He never came back to the pub that day. Maybe he felt uneasy about sharing all this with a stranger. <laughs> Oh, shoot. What he say? What he say? Spill that tea. Another one, Lenny. Are you sure, Chris? That's your... Just do it, Lenny. M my mind's messed up. I'm supposed to forget about it, she said. But uh, it's imp impossible to forget something like that. Ugh. I just can't. How can anyone be so terrible? How can anyone like that exist? I never thought. It makes me sick, Lenny. What's going on, Chris? What do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about it? I don't know if I should, but yeah, I've got to t tell someone about it. I can't just keep it in me. I can't just try and forget about it. I've got to do s something. What did he tell you? What happened? Oh, oh, oh! Should I censor this? I don't know. Future future skinny, maybe censor. If not, don't worry about it. Man, Diane. Do you have any idea how beautiful you look right now? At this exact moment? Chris. No, I mean it. I need you to know. It's important. I feel so grateful for moments like this that exist. How special you are. Stop. Don't say things like that. I get it. You're shy, but... No, no, you don't get it. Forget it. Uh, how was your day? Diane, I'm not shy. I just, you're special, Chris. It's, I'm just, me. Come on. Just let me, okay? I really think you're special. <laughs> Pure, even. I'm in awe sometimes. I, uh, thank you. You feel so much. I have never met anyone else who sees the world the way you do. 
This is a lot, don't you think? No. I don't tell you often how enough how perfect you are, how how much good you've done done me. Oh heck, what are we doing, Chris? Uh what do you mean? There's something I need to tell you. I've been meaning to for a while, but you know I struggle with this sort of thing. Letting people in. And you know there are things I still haven't told you. I know, and that's okay. Chris, if we're going to be serious about us, you should know. Are we? Serious, I mean. Aw, uh, yeah, he's in love with you. I'm in love with you, Diane. Chris, please, you... You might feel differently after I told you everything. Diane, nothing you could possibly say change how I feel about us. You don't understand. It'll change things between us. And it's up to you if you still want us to be a thing after that. I won't blame you for backing off. What the hell are you talking about? You're scaring me. Nothing's going to change. All right. I'm scared. What is she? What's happening? Is she like? Is she sick? Is she? Does she have cancer? You know that I live with my mom and stepdad, right? Well, she married him when I was about four. It's stupid. I don't. I don't even remember what my real dad looked like. Mom said he died in a car accident, and you know what? That's not important. I'm sorry. I. I didn't know. Well, now you do. I'm sorry, it's turning off the audio. I can't really hear it. But Mom would go out to work, and my stepdad, well, he wasn't the working type. There were a couple of times, I think, when I was about eight or nine, he used to call me to his room. Diane, you don't have to. I know... I know, but I need to, okay? Okay. It was only ever when Mom was away. I was too young, too stupid, and he said we were just playing. God. It stopped for a while, but one Tuesday when I came home from middle school, when my mom was at work, he... You don't have to say it. You don't get it. I have to. I want to say it. That disgusting, dirty little word. My stepdad did this to me, Chris. Diane. Ooh, I'm gonna need to put a warning in this episode. I was so confused. I couldn't process what had happened. He kissed my mom on the cheek when she got home. Nothing had changed, not in the world outside. Everything changed for me, though. More than I realized at the time. The next week, the next month, the same. Nothing. When I was 15, he tried again, calling me to his room as though I was still a little girl. I told him to go screw himself, and I locked myself in my room. When I came out, everything was as it had been. Dinner on the table. Normal. It's almost like it never happened, Chris. The way life has been around me. And I've known, I've always known that he was that kind of man. No one would believe me if I told them. Nobody would ever think he would do such a thing you doubt yourself, you know? Your own memory? I was only a kid, Chris. A stupid kid. Diane, you need to tell your mother about this. And what good would that do? Dredging all that crap up again? What would it change? It'd be good for you. Would it? 
I'm not so sure. So now you know. That was brave, Diane. I understand if this changes things. If it makes you reconsider, this changes nothing. Why the hell would you think it might? What happened, it was in the past. It's over. You did nothing wrong. You're not a different person because some awful thing happened to you. It's a lot of baggage, Chris. It's not exactly in the past. Diane, I love you. I'm not just saying that to make you feel better or because you opened up or because we slept together. I love you. And I loved you before tonight and I'm pretty sure I'll still love you in the morning. You're an idiot. Yeah, well, what can you do? I love you too, Chris. Oh my gosh, man, that's deep. Oh my god. Oh, it's hard. Sweetie, you've been uncharacteristic uncharacteristically quiet. What are you thinking? Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. That is very interesting. How he was so, like, the beauty and everything. Oh, man. We should report him to the police. Oh, God. We should report him to the police, Diane. You aren't going to do anything. You promised. That was before I knew what you were living with. I deal with this in my own way. I don't need you trying to be some vigilante making a mess of everything. He hasn't touched me ever since, Chris. Nothing of the sort. Things have been normal for a long time now. Dumb curfews are the most I have to deal with anymore. But you shouldn't have to deal with that either. Chris, leave it alone. I told you because I felt like you should know, that's all. It's hard. It's really hard. Because you want to do something and you, you feel so powerless to help the person that you want to save. Oh. God. Oh. Gotta meet Brad and Officer Blunt. They'll be at the station. Um. Golly. Okay, no, that'll do it for this episode. That. Ooh, that's rough. Um, man, that's really hard. That's really hard. Um, but yeah, that'll definitely do it for this episode, you guys. Um, like I said, be careful when you're watching these. This is hitting some heavy topics. And, uh, protect yourself. Do what you can. Um, if no one's told you that they love you today, I do. See you next time, y'all.